It's the, it's the best sport in the world. Uh, it's great. We certainly got a great front line. And now with uh, all the COVID stuff behind us, uh, we're excited about that team. Maybe we can get uh, more people in there than we had the last couple of years with, uh, with a lot of uncertainty. Tim, you're a guy that talks about it all the time. It was one of the first meetings we had in the offseason was we said, Ben, we need to get back out in the community this season. I know you miss being out. I know the players miss being out. I know the fans miss seeing the players and you out in the public and the community eye. How excited are you this season to be out in the community? We had that golf tournament yesterday. I know you were flying around in the golf cart talking to everybody and anybody because you just, it's a really big part of who the Iowa Wild are and a big part of the way you run your team as well. Yeah, I think it's really important, obviously, because we're in it together. We're going to do it together. we we got to do it on the ice, but our fans are going to be there for us uh, in the stands and those nights where you need a little bit of an extra push. That's what, that's what home ice advantage is all about. But as you go forward, it is, it's a, we're, we want to be a fabric of the community, a part of the fabric of the community. So the last few years have been pretty dry. And right before the pause in 2020, we were rolling pretty good. We had an unbelievable team. And we had a team that we felt could compete for a championship. And we played San Diego back to back in here. And he's a top two second. Faces, uh, six familiar faces anymore. Uh, it's changed quite a bit. I do think we're deeper. We're deeper down the middle, and we're faster. We're built a little bit more like we were uh, my first two years, uh, and so I think that's a real positive. We'll, we'll try to push teams out of the game with our speed. We got a good conditioning uh, in order to push teams out, but I think we can push teams out with our speed. We'll be well conditioned. I think the two games against Rockford. Illustrated that I think as the game went along and we got deeper into the third period, we played a pretty good Rockford team. I thought we we took control of the game uh, in the second half, and that was really based on, on our speed. So we'll we'll look to do the, the same thing starting Friday night. But we do we have a lot of new faces. We got some really exciting young prospects that are here. We got some familiar faces back. Uh, so it's a, it's a really nice mix. Uh, we got three young defensemen and, and Simon Johansson, David Hunt, Ryan O'Rourke. Hunzi and Rook, he spent a little bit of time with us a couple of years ago. And then Jasper and Hatch is from all sides of that. Exciting, exciting prospect. But we, we got Zane back, and Zane was an absolute workhorse last year. And the back end, uh, you know, when Joey Hickett's back, and, and Tommy's back. Uh, so we got some, some good veterans. Murray, what is he?